All right, guys, so I started college back in September 2016, and my major was in media arts and animation. Now, the school that I attended at the time primarily focused on getting students to focus on creating props and assets for scenes. Now, the reason behind it, I guess they kind of figured that it's easier for students to get jobs if they focus on the pipeline and workflow of creating low poly assets. So there was roughly about 800 students at my school and about three other colleges around the area, which is about 2,400 students I have to compete with for a job, <laughs> which begs the question, how do I separate myself from the other thousand plus students that are doing the same work as I am and applying for the same job? Now, 2017 was the year all my questions would be answered when I was introduced to my mentor and professor at the time, Isaac Oster. Now, Isaac worked in the gaming industry and he worked on games like Call of Duty and Halo. And not only was he a professor part-time, he was a full-time employee in the industry still. Now, Isaac came up with a course to help his students progress and advance for those who wanted to. He provided a course online that you could take at your own pace. And once you hit a certain cap, you take his super advanced class, which was in Fusion 360. Now, Fusion 360 is a CAD program that not a lot of people in my school even knew about it, even heard. Now, because it's just, it's unconventional in a sense of video game development animation because we poly model in those programs and Fusion was a CAD program. Now, when I take his course, at first I was kind of skeptical about learning it because I was afraid that if I learned it, I'd be wasting my time and I wouldn't actually get a job. And Isaac kind of spoke to me on a personal level and told me that I should cast the far net because who's to say that I'm actually going to get a job at these places that I want because of the competition being so steep. So with me learning CAD, it would just be another tool that I can kind of slay the competition in. Now, I understood how to create a low poly asset in Maya Max. Now I can just convert that knowledge over into the CAD program. And what was easy about using Fusion 360 is the learning curve was super simple and you can get better quality than you can get in the other polygon modeling tools such as Maya Max and so forth and so on. So within the first three months of me learning Fusion 360, my work quality went from really great student to industry professional quality, which brought a lot more attention to myself as an artist and as a student because I was able to produce content or models twice as fast to put on my portfolio to grasp the intention of uh, industry professionals. And before I hit my fourth month of using Fusion 360, and while still a student, I secured a job working for a man named Adam Groivis at a company called Mirar. Mirar is a small local company based in Austin, Texas that uses a CAD program to produce 3D models, which then are later 3D printed for clients. I signed an NDA, so there's certain things I can't disclose. But I can say by learning at least the very basics of modeling inside of Autodesk Fusion 360 has opened a world of opportunity for me in the industry. And I've since gone on to work at places like Rooster Teeth and Arcane Studios, but I'll talk more about those in a later video. So hopefully my experience inspires someone out there to uh, learn Fusion 360 and to really push it because that's the only way you're going to get to the next level.